<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having too good of a time with Fiona right now. Fiona's my vehicle. And yes, I lovingly named her that because of a singer-songwriter that helped me uh, not kill myself in the seventh grade. Thank you so much, Fiona. Apple. Sucks that she's a liberal, though, because anytime they're a liberal, it just... Not only does it drag down their personality, but it drags down their, their career because then they have to, to play ball. Once you get involved in politics, you can't get uninvolved in politics. That's what sucks about it. And uh, I kind of wish that I had never, ever put my hat in the ring for Donald Trump. I, I really wish I hadn't. But at the same time, because I always had this sneaking suspicion that it was like, okay, he's just part of it. Uh, but, you know, I mean, honestly, though, I still like him. I still find him charismatic. And I still think that he did a lot of good stuff for the country. And I still like a lot of the stuff that comes out of his mouth. I think he's right. I think that he's real. And I think he's probably the most right, real president we've ever had, honestly, since all the other ones. I mean, let's not say that. I feel like in the past, maybe... 100, almost 100 years. Oh God. I'm just thinking about it. This has been like almost a century of just crap presidents and crap media, crap medicine, crap food. It's like everything's just going downhill so fast now. And it's because of technology and I keep telling people that. Okay? You want to see something, you guys? You want to see something really cool? This is what we call thinking for yourself and saying, fuck you, authority. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm going to do what I want. Fuck you. That's the sound of fuck you. <laughs> you know, my mom asked me, are you calm enough to drive? <laughs> I wasn't before, but now I am because I'm making myself laugh shooting these videos and I'm having fun getting mad. You see, you gotta be, you gotta be fun. You gotta have some fun. You gotta make it worth it. You know, if you're gonna be an emotional basket case, you gotta make it worth some. And if I can give this to other people, then I will gladly do it. I will do it for free and I will do it for fun. Anybody wants to book me, I will come to where you are. You just give me a place to stay. You maybe cook for me or some shit, that'd be nice. You don't have to give me money though. Oh yeah, travel. Travel that too. <laughs> oh my God, Amy. No, but I really will. Like I was thinking about it. I, like, I really want to do this. And I want to help people. Because I know this is going to be a really hard time for a lot of people. And so if I have this gift of being able to make myself laugh as much as I do, I make myself laugh so much that I haven't killed myself for 35 years. Isn't that incredible? It's almost like doing what they tell you to do is completely wrong and just following your gut. That makes a lot more sense. But see, you don't have a gut anymore. Well, you do, you know, physically, but... You know, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, nobody's got a gut anymore. Because they've been taught not to. They've been taught not to rely on instincts. Rely on... The long G, people. We know what's best for you. And I'm sure that, that rich billionaire tycoons know what's best for the world, too. Yes, I'm sure. Parents have no idea what's good for their kids. People have no idea what their experiences are. And what their brain is. If their brain is a brain. <laughs> what if they start replacing, like, human brains with just, like cabbage <laughs> cabbage or um cauliflower oh my goodness oh my goodness what if people's brains are just cauliflower now that, that could be that could be a plausible explanation for why everybody's such a retard <laughs> anyway look at fiona she's so clean now well yes this is what i call clean <laughs> But see, I have, I got a diagnostic.